Hi guys, it's me Lee and welcome back to another video. Today I haven't got a wig cap on, this is what my actual hair looks like right now. Um, so in today's video I'm actually going to be following a Nikki Tutorials tutorial video and she had one where she used this. Now I'm going to make it clear that I don't think this is an official one. Um, so I, I'm sorry to Mr Jeffrey Star. However, I'm going to be using this because she uses the same palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I did state in the last video that I don't think these are real for the for the price I paid for them. However, I did find today, yeah, it was today, today a place that actually sold Jeffree Star products in the UK. It's Beauty Bay. Uh, if I remember, I will put a link in the description box. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is, because I haven't got my spare phone because it's broke, I'm going to be using the Xbox over there. So you'll see me doing this a lot. Um. So, yeah. So, I will be back in a sec once I've set it up. Okay, so, she's primed her eyes on the video. And I'm not sure if she's put a, like, a base colour on. But I don't think she did because it didn't show it on the video. But she's using this colour here that says F-U-C-K. So, fuck. So, I'm just, she said to get a fluffy blending brush. Let's have a look. I've got Fluffies. I've got lots of fluffy brushes. They all say names on. This is a fluffy blending brush. So I'm going in with F-U-C-K. So it's like a very bright neon orange. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like. So she is gone in. And then I am going to move the brushes. Move this thing so I can rest it up. Oh, do you know, I'm stood there like, oh yeah, I need to pick my mirror up. It's got a friggin' mirror on it. So, I'm going to... Oh, wait, that's wrong. So, to stamp in the inner corner. Is that right? Let's just leave Nikki on. Onto the inner third. It doesn't look as dark, so... A neon coral. This is a neon orange. And then I'm dragging it. Let me see if a different brush will work. Okay, so I'll try again. You can hear Nikki in that round. There's, no, there's a tiny bit of that okay. fallout stuff, as you can hear, Dickie. Okay. So I'm going to get a different enough. And I'm going to get the bubble gum that's on here. Oh, shit. Is it cool? Yeah. It's not necessarily falling down onto my cheeks a lot. There's a little bit with the F-U-C-K color, like right here on that inner portion. But nothing like, oh my god, I need to fix my makeup right now. I'm loving these two tones together. So I might be going back in with F-U-C-K and popping that on the out. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Okay, popping that on. And then on. she goes with back in with the F-U-C-K. And I just want to make this look sort of like a, a simplistic color statement. See, as you can see, I was wiping a little bit of that fallout on my cheeks away, but it's not like grabbing onto the skin, so it's very easy to remove. Okay, so what I'm liking about this is usually with mm. really bright shades, once you pack them on and start blending them out, they lose a bit of their intensity. Then once you go back in, it's so weird, but once you go back in with that shade, it doesn't grab on as much and it starts looking faded. It happens with a lot of super bright shadows out there, and I'm happy to inform that this doesn't. The F-U-C-K color does it a tiny bit on the lid. It's losing a bit of its vibrancy and it can't really... Okay, so according in, from looking at this, and I have one of those lights right in my face, it doesn't show it. Morning, the shade next to bubblegum, I'm just going to... And, and then, it out so I'm going to use a different brush because she's just used what good morning. So bubblegum's here. This is good morning, and she's doing that around the outer corner here. Does she do the top? 
Now, I want to dive into snack for the inner corner. I'm telling you, this is a pink fantasy today. Okay, I'm just going to pop it on right here. Oh. I don't see snack. It's stunning next to these two colors. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so let me just pause Nikki a minute. Okay, so let me just try and catch up. So she put some of this good morning colour here and across here, back looks a bit. You know, to do like a fady, blendy something. I'm just going to stamp some more of that orange right here. If you see again, right here. And intensify the colour a bit. I'm going like this to try and you know smooth it out across here. And then I'm gonna go back on this one and she used good morning. And that's the opposite side of bubblegum. And I'm just gonna go here. I think that's to do like, you know, like, I think they call it a transition colour where they blend and it like fades it all sort of thing. I'm just getting this big brush. I have some orange in this inner corner. Where's that brush gone? This one. Oh, I'm just gonna. So just by going off what i'm seeing on nikki tutorials compared to my eye nikki tutorials is miles better because it's my right um so yeah so that sucks because so this is i'm going to say definitely not however the colors are um quite decently pigmented so if you haven't got any money on a on a budget and jeffree star doesn't mind then obviously there's this uh, i'm gonna get a what am I going to get? I'm going to get this little weird brush here and she used this colour here that's called Snack. It's like a shimmery pink and she said she was putting it on her inner corner here. Actually, that's actually quite pretty that colour. Okay, does she do anything else? So far, I think Jeffree's shimmering shades are one of the best because they pack Well, if this was, if this is not a legit Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star, I bet you any money that the real product would be amazing. So, one day. This one is not patchy, you just need a little bit more time. So yeah, she's thinking, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to finish I don't think she does anything else. Does she do Alex, anything else? I'll come back in a minute after I check if she does anything else. Okay, guys, so I have put some lashes on. Please don't judge my shitty lash skills because I, I think I've put the lashes on three times in my whole life. This is being the third. So this is what it looks like. On the Nikki Tutorials video, it is more vibrant and more... So I'm going to definitely say, assume, whatever, that this is not an official. This is what it looks like on the back. So I don't know if there's like anything that would be on the back to say, you know, legit or not. So, yeah, so that's using the, the Jawbreaker palette. Um, the eyelashes I've used are just these ones. These are on eBay. Um, and there's glue all over it. So, yeah, and uh, putting eyelashes on is well hard. But... They do look really pretty actually. Um, and I, I ended up cutting it a bit and just putting the black liner, you know, to fill in here because it was stabbing my eye and I did not like it. But obviously, as you can see, I've done the other side. Uh, so, yeah, guys, so that's this thing me following a Nick Tutorials tutorial video thing. 
so I don't want I don't I hope she doesn't get like offended or something at my shitty job but uh, I did the best as I could considering you know um then yeah <laughs> so yeah guys i hope to see you in the next video and if you like this video please like share subscribe leave a comment below if you have any ideas for any other videos and i hope to see you soon thanks for watching guys bye